Welcome back to the session on LaTeX. Let us recapitulate what we learnt in the previous session. We created a basic table as shown here. At the end, I asked a question that whether we got a feel of a table while viewing it, to which we answered no. The reason is that the borders were missing, which actually gives us a feel of a table. So, in this session, we will learn to add borders. Vertical lines are created using the pipe operator and we mention this in the column alignment specification. Slash H line command is used to create horizontal lines after every row. We shall also explore the C line command. Consider an example shown here. The only new addition are these pipe operators and the slash H line after every row. Let us see a demo. We already have a table created here. Let us just add borders. We add pipe operators here. And we add slash H line command after every row. Slash H line, let us copy paste it rather than typing. That is it, we build and run. Oh yes, now we are really getting a feel of creating a table. Now let us copy paste this table to create another one. Let me align it for better readability. Okay, let us build and run. There you go, we have another table. All right. Now, since this number 3 is appearing twice, why not we write it just once? So, let us delete the second number 3. We delete it and we build and run. So, our number got deleted, but we do not want this horizontal line in this cell as well. Instead of using H line, let us draw a line using C line from 1 to 2 columns and in the fourth column. So, instead of H line, we write slash C line in curly brace 1 dash 2 and another C line 4 dash 4. Let us build and run. Okay. So, this creates a line in the first and the second column and in the fourth column. Let us go back to our slides. This is what we saw the C line command. To create dashed borders, a package called array dash line needs to be used. Instead of pipe operators to create vertical borders, we write colon. H line is replaced with H dash line and mentioning the size of the dash and the spaces between each dash. C line can be replaced with C dash line. The examples given here denotes the H dash line where the size of the dash is 1 point and the space between each dash is 2 points. C dash line which spans across second and the third column also has size of 1 point and a space of 2 points. The table that we saw in the previous example is modified to address the dashed borders. Let us see a demo. Now let us copy paste this table. Copy and paste. We indent it for better readability. Okay, we build and run. We got the third table as well. Now, let us add a package slash use package a r y d s h l n. Build and run just to make sure there are no errors. Now, we come here and we replace the pipe operator with colon. Okay, let us build and run. There you go. So, all the vertical lines have been replaced with dashes. Now, instead of H line, let us write H dash line 3 p t dash 5 p t, where 3 points represents the size of the dash and 5 represents the spaces between them. 
we replace the h line with h dash line. Let us build and run. There you go. Now, let us replace the c line as well. So, instead of c line, we write c dash line 1 dash 2 and 3 points by 5 points and we do the same the column 4 as well. Let us build and run. There you go. So, we have the c dash line spanning across first and second column and the fourth column. Let us switch back to our slides. So, now you can add plain borders and dash borders to the table. Note that we have just explored the different styles of the borders. It is not necessary to use all of them. In fact, a good representation is a table with no vertical lines and just three horizontal lines, one before the header, one after the header and the last one after the entire content of the table. Thank you. Have a nice day.